Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the collective, for whoever, whenever, wherever. I hope you guys are doing fabulous on this beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me know if I'm resonating with you. And there it goes. Mm, get the High Priestess, the Sun, and the Magus. Wow. Wow, major, major, major cards, major things happening, going on today in the tower. I just saw 33. We're 33 seconds in. We have all these major arcanas, and uh, the train whistle is a blowing. I hear the train of blowing. It's coming around the bend, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's been some sort of secrets revealed, right? There's some, you have, it's almost like you have the power and know-how to be able to create anything today, to be able to take it into your your hands and um, really manifest. Wow, you guys, I'm so <laughs> we're manifesting for the good. Here's the mediator. We got the Samaritan, the wounded child and the destroyer, which is like very, very, very similar to this tower card, right? So let's get some information on this. We have a mediator on the bottom here. So high priestess, the son and Magus with Samaritan what, uh, wounded child and the destroyer. Let's see for high priestess and the Samaritan. Refine your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. Um, the shadow attribute is exacting appreciation and recognition for the help that you offer. So we might be making a um, quiet assistance. I heard quiet assistance, right? Um, to help someone who um, maybe, maybe this isn't somebody that we necessarily want to help. Maybe we want them to be able to do it on their own. But at the same time, I mean, there's a lot to do with children here in the center. This could be your child. It could be somebody who's acting childish, right? It could be a mentee, right? Somebody who um, looks to you as, as a, as a leader, as a mentor, right? Um, is maybe somebody could help them. It says the child, wounded, light attributes, awakens compassion and desire to serve others, wounded children, um, other wounded children, right? Talking about um, things things uh, that we've healed in ourselves that we can in turn help heal others with, opens the learning path of forgiveness. Wow, and the shadow attributes, blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds, um, resists moving on through forgiveness. Now, Look at the colors here. Right? Can you see these colors? You can look over on the side here at how similar these cards are, right? A lot of gold, prosperity, right? Freeing. There's a pattern here. There's a pattern on her on her quilt. It's almost like um, maybe in, in her suffering in silence while well, helping in silence. What are we doing? Because here's the Magus, right? The destroyer light attribute, releasing what is potentially destructive, preparing for a new life, shadow attribute, intoxication with destructive power, destroys others, dreams or potential. So since we um, have some really positive cards out here, we might um, be better looking at the positive attributes of these things okay so um i'll tell you that i'm aries with scorpio rising so the tower um i i can get with this energy i understand this energy really well because it's regenerative and it's necessary right and sometimes it's shocking and surprising but sometimes that's what's necessary and it might be shocking and surprising to someone that a you help them out and b um what what the result of that help is right to the, to the people around you there might be some sort of um i heard institution at play right that um needs to be adjusted and maybe by helping uh people wo uh, with a wounded child spirit right with with things going on their underlying underlying i heard underlying conditions i'm not a doctor Okay, um, just take this as it resonates, right? Um, by helping people with that in maybe a very discreet manner, it allows them to empower themselves and to tear down walls um, and things that have been keeping them stuck or keeping them injured, right? Mediator, 
on the bottom of the deck. Light attributes, gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life, respect for both sides of the argument. Shadow attribute, negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda, either personally or professionally. Be aware of this too, because we do have the high priestess out here. Um, and she's hidden things. And if that's an agenda, that's an agenda. And it might be um, why, you know, always, always, I was like, always question why people are helping you. But like, look at people's motivation behind why they do things just in general, right? That's just uh, a good rule of thumb. Can we get some more information, please? Some clarifiers on this high priestess and Samaritan, please. This is the queen of cups in the reverse. Somebody who's not using their um, intuition. Somebody who um, could be using their know-how. And like this this feels like emotional manipulation. Whenever I get the King and Queen of Cups in the reverse, it always feels like a form of emotional manipulation. Because um, they can be very um, pushy and very you know, it's like the mastery of mastery of the emotions. And then we talk about here, beware of the ulterior motives behind people that might be what you're helping somebody, um, get through, get out of, get around. I heard get around. And then we have the 10 of wands, right? For the son, the, the wounded child here, burdens, right? The release of burdens, right? Yesterday, if you, if, uh, Yesterday's reading, we talked a lot about that inner voice and, and whose voice is it and where do these uh, interior dialogue things come from, right? Um, whose voice is it? So there, there could be someone who needs guidance, your help um, to overcome something that uh, be, um, they're, they're being emotionally manipulated with. There's, there's the sun card and here we go, Knight of Cups. Right? And I heard knight in shining armor. Very, very interesting to relieve that burden, right? Seven of cups on the, or seven of pentacles on the bottom. Yeah, not just relieving the burden, but being patient with it. That investment, this is going to take, the, I heard this is going to take a little while. This is going to happen overnight. What is shocking about it though, is that it's completely changing the foundations of um, the previous Right. And that might be um, what's uh, I mean, that that's that, that's necessary. Right. So you got to like look at it from both sides of the perspective in order to help these people out in order to get through this. Um, I'm going to put those over here because it's telling me to do this one first. Clarity. Earth masks wow the bottom bloom clarity came out in the reverse over here with this uh there's a lot of things that we can't see and a lot of things that we don't understand about someone else's motives right and that could be that hidden agenda energy yeah. and maybe we might be a little bit apprehensive about accepting help from others or someone else might be a little apprehensive about accepting help from us because um, as far as they know, you know, we could be on that, we could be in that same boat with, with whoever it is that um, is doing this to them, wherever this is coming from. Destroyer of masks. I heard destroyer of masks, really shedding that skin, really taking off the masks pretend that what we were, what we were set in place to hold on to like this persona that we had developed or that had been developed by this person is really going to be removed by this and by by shining some clarity and light using your intuition um and like i said it might be someone else helping you in this regard it really depends on your situation but but it's this um quietly in the background shining light to relieve the burdens of someone else. We have the sun and the earth in this line here. You know, growth. Growth. Blooming abundance. I'm Yeah. So let's see. 
with this uh okay so we have those who approach life like a child playing a game moving and pushing pieces possess the power of kings and the advice is and strategy is have fun Rosaline Franklin, the scientist whose crystallography research was instrumental in the discovery of the structure of DNA, was asked why she pursued her studies. She replied, because our work is so much fun. Similarly, Murray Gell-Mann, the physicist who coined the subatomic term quark after a line in James Joyce's uh, Finnegan's Wake, was asked to comment on the names of various types of quarks flavor, color, charm, strange, etc. He said, the terms are just for fun. There's no particular reason to use pompous names. One might as well be playful. Finally, the renowned chair designer, Bill Stumpf, was once asked what criteria he used to select new furniture projects. He responded, there are three things I look for in my work. I hope to learn something. I want to make some money and I'd like to have some fun. If the project doesn't promise all uh, satisfying if the project doesn't have the promise of satisfying at least two of these I don't sign on how can you make your situation more fun that might be what the, the what the healing salve is right what the remedy is I mean that's what the wounded child in the sun right in the earth go play go play out in the sun Go enjoy yourself. And it talks about, you know, those who approach life like a child playing a game, moving and pushing pieces, possess the power of kings. Um, in, that, in that playful energy, in that healing, um, in that setting down of the burdens, right? Um, it does destroy whatever chains were binding us. It does destroy whatever anger we might be present in us in that moment, right? Um, and it healing, healing us. Um, so keep keep that in mind to have a good time and then it says um wow every animal walking is driven to its purpose with a whack embrace failure like other walking animals sometimes we good need a whack we need a good whack on the side of the head i do not advocate for actually doing this okay this i'm just reading this card um, to get us focused on our purpose. One thing that whacks our thinking is failure. It jolts us out of our routines and forces us to look at fresh approaches. To a great extent, we function according to the principle of negative feedback. When things go so smoothly, we don't think about them. When things fail to do so, to do their job, uh, they get our attention and we're forced to look for new solutions. For example, after the super tanker Exxon Valdez broke apart off Alaska, the petroleum industry was forced to rethink and toughen up many of its transport standards. Indeed, most people don't change when they see light. They change when they feel heat. A friend fired from a job observed, it was traumatic, but it turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. It forced me to come to grips with my strengths and weaknesses and to get out of my box and scramble. If you failed in your current situation, what would you feel free to try? And that could be like the destruction of the current situation to allow you um, something new, to allow you to bloom and blossom, right? Allow you to bloom and blossom and remember to have fun, right? Because the best way to heal and the best way to recover from something like this is to, um, laughter is the best medicine, right? It's telling at 1333. Go out, have a good time. Don't uh, carry with you whatever is going on with someone else right now. Uh, if they're if they're using if they're using your emotions against you to cloud your judgment, to cloud your your clarity, okay, um, to keep you from seeing forward, and that is causing a burden on you. All right. Um, Take it upon yourself to go out into the sunshine. Help someone else today. Go have fun and play, right? Out in the earth here. Get grounded. Get grounded that that's what's going to release the burdens. Get in touch with that um, that child within, right? And go go have go have some fun, all right? I heard shake it off. Isn't that a song? Um, Two. It is. And. Uh, you might be, you too might be surprised how much your patience has increased, how much um, 
comes it to mind, right? Mediator here, how, how you can now suddenly transfer, transverse and uh, converse, have a conversation with yourself. And um, what needs to happen is the truth of you needs to come out. This mask needs to be taken off in a loving, in a loving way, right? Um, because it says releasing what is potentially destructive and preparing for a new life, right? Um, and th that doesn't, uh, it doesn't always have to be so extreme that we like, you know, sell our cows and move across the country. That's not necessarily what, I mean, you can, you can destroy a way of thinking and um, have a whole new way of life and still maintain your residence and your job and your friends, right? It's about that shedding of that old skin. It's about shedding of that old voice that's inside of you that's saying um, destructive things. You know, um, you're going to be shocked at how much you grow and how much can bloom from this if you just uh, give of yourself and others a little bit of patience here. All right. So if someone is in need of your assistance today, um, help them without an agenda. Okay. Have fun. All right. And um, try to see how the, this situation has opened up a path for you to try something new, something brilliant. All right. And uh, let other people hold on to their own ish. That's always a theme right? It's always a theme. What's yours? What's mine? And uh, what, what can make life better? Uh, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And thanks for coming back and seeing me again tomorrow.